Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Tori if you're new here and today we are going to do another weekly reset. I am setting myself up for greatness for my week ahead. If you're new here, hi, hello. I am a stay-at-home mom to three. We do homeschooling, homesteading, homemaking, and everything in between on this channel. So if you like that kind of thing, definitely hit the subscribe button and let's get into our beautiful day. So I am starting off with some yummy breakfast and and some tasty coffee. All of the links for any products that you may see are in the description box if you need it. I went ahead and collected some eggs early so they didn't freeze out in the coop and the kids were enjoying the snow but really wanted some hot chocolate. So we are going to take you throughout our day cooking, cleaning, and anything that comes up. I hope you're excited. I go anywhere, anywhere with you because you feel my mind. We are attempting the three rivers challenge. If you're not familiar with that, you cook basically what you have in your pantry. So it's like a pantry challenge. We didn't have any meat, but we do have a grocery haul in this video. So I'll show you what we ended up getting. But when we don't have meat, I tend to cook a lot of potatoes. So it is filling. After breakfast, you will see I'm doing my charcoal oil pulling and I'm doing a brain dump. That is when I just feel super overwhelmed and I need to get out of my head and put what's in there onto paper so I don't forget things. That's just how my brain works, especially in this postpartum season. So just writing a few things down that I want to get accomplished. It doesn't have to be today, but within the next week is really my boundaries when it comes to that brain dump. I'm trying to clean off our dining room table because it's just become a hub for laundry and papers and boxes and it's just overwhelming me. So I'm trying to get that clean and then I'm moving on to the kitchen. I typically start with the kitchen when I'm doing a weekly reset just because I spend most of my time here and I need it to be clean. So I'm just organizing everything that I washed last night, putting it away. It's usually the water bottles that I'm washing at night. We go through like four of them a day because we always lose one or the other. So after I put all that away, I am just taking in some hot cocoa for the kids. I have my pre-made mix here that I like to make myself and my daughter informed me that she wanted whipped cream so I am making that with a little bit of heavy cream some vanilla and some powdered sugar and then they are going to sip on that while I get back to the kitchen Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? We do it on repeat I could stay awake till the night is through With you by my side With you by my side Though we've only Because I realized it was the day that it was, I had my microwave chore. I'm just cleaning out the microwave here. And along with the microwave chore, I try and wipe down the refrigerator. And those are the two things I like to get accomplished on that day. If you're new here, I like to assign myself two tasks every single day and that is in addition to doing the dishes, laundry, the floors, and 
I don't know there's a few more things on there but it does seem like a lot but if I just keep myself to like five tasks a day and I space it throughout the day I find that there's a better flow in our household we are certainly not perfect we have clutter here and there but I find that if I get those things accomplished that my mind just is semi at ease during the day it's a little tricky for me but I've been working on it so I appreciate all of you who watch my videos because it just gives me a reason to pick up the camera and I really appreciate it so I'm just wiping down the outside here with my EcoSense I have all my cleaning products linked in the description box below if you want the link to see the online wellness store that I get everything from let me know and I can send it on over Thank you. I am attempting to get some computer work done and while I do that I've been doing my stair stepper I love this thing I got it on Amazon for like $39 and I try and do 2,000 stair steps a day but I've been finding different exercises and it just makes me feel good because honestly I can't get on the treadmill often and <laughs> I look ridiculous watching this uh, footage back I apologize but yeah if you are in any situation similar to mine it might be easier for you to get the stair stepper I don't know and then do a Pilates workout but yes I was having a good time I got some computer work done and then why and I Sweet. headed outside just to get a little bit of the cool air in our lungs and I wanted to shovel the sidewalk so it's included in our weekly reset during the winter because we are constantly getting the sidewalks clear and we went over and did our neighbors because she's just a little older and it made me nervous because she is very independent so I knew she was going to go out there and do it, and I wanted to beat her to it. <laughs> Today happened to be a double dishwasher day and sometimes that happens but I've been enjoying this Diamond Bright by EcoSense. I find that it just does an incredible job and it's non-toxic so it makes me feel good and it makes me have a little bit of peace of mind when it comes to what my family is eating off of. I just know it's going to come out clean. I also once a week like to disinfect my sink and wipe everything down so I'm using this Lemon Bright soap from the wellness company and some baking soda and scrubbing as much as I can. I also dropped a little drainage garbage disposal like tab in and I get them from Amazon. They're non-toxic but it just uh, keeps everything fresh down there just because it is a disgusting place that sink of yours and you should disinfect it if you uh, haven't started doing that. It's relatively new to me I'd say since I've become a mom and just become very aware of the germs that are in my household but it's a simple thing to do and it makes your sink sparkle if you have one like mine
Next up were the floors. We ended up bringing out a bunch of things to declutter, so I am just getting as much as I can cleaned up here, and I ended up vacuuming the floor twice this day just because there are so many things on this floor. You can totally see it with these dark hardwoods, but I wouldn't trade it. I think it's a beautiful floor, but you just have to keep up with it. So I'm doing the carpet now, and I have it on the high power mode just to get up anything that I was missing, and then I'm going to move to the kids' room. Next up is a family affair laundry. We all like to help except for my husband. I'm just kidding. Um, he, he really does his own laundry just because he has to do his uniform and everything in between. If you're new here, my husband is in law enforcement and he works with all walks of life and you never know what he's going to come home with on his uh, uniform. So he does that separately and he, you know, needs to keep his uniform tidy. So he irons that separately. But but moral of the story, we all like to fold laundry here. The kids really enjoy it, and we have just been having a good time using that as a bonding moment. So if you're struggling with that, encourage them to fold a towel or two. I think it's really fun, and it creates responsible, productive human beings. Hello, hello. It is the next day. I'm sipping on some happy juice. I have a baby at my feet. Hold on. Okay. Okay, one second. Okay, I got her, but I wanted to start including in the weekly resets just some things to reset yourself. So not just cleaning, not just groceries, but other things you can do for yourself. Some easy things, budget-friendly things that you can do to restart your week, recharge yourself, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to head on up to the mountains and uh, go on a little drive, maybe eat some good food and just spend some quality family time together. And I really feel like that contributes to just a reset of our week and it gets us excited and just in a positive mental attitude. So I hope this is going to be okay to include in these videos. I know it's not attainable for everybody, but if you can just do one little thing to recharge yourself, I think it will set you up for a great week. So I'm going to take you with us. Millie is going to a nap she promised right you promised huh yeah. and delilah is too and we are just gonna enjoy the snow it is very very cold out but we're just gonna go for it anyways the thing about colorado is it can be in the negatives but still feel semi-warm because of the sun so i'm gonna sip some chili happy juice maybe we will even stop for a coffee but i think it's gonna be exciting we had a really good start this morning and i'm just in a very positive attitude so i'm excited let's go see some beautiful sights and restart recharge your week with me
So the girls are sleeping right now. Millie's kind of tossing and turning. The boys are about to head on out in this negative weather. They are getting some straw for the coop and then I'm gonna insulate their little bins out there with just some blankets and then we'll put some extra straw in there and I really think they'll be okay. It's supposed to get down to negative 22. So that's why we're taking the extra precaution. We could put them in the garage, but honestly it's not gonna be any warmer. We tried that last year and it was just about the same temperature. There was a three degree difference. So we're not gonna do that. Um, and we're just gonna keep them where they are. They seem comfortable under the heat lamp. Uh, I'm doing the stair stepper right now. I should have probably told you guys that. Uh, but I am making it through. So I feel like I'm getting a lot done. I try and multitask when I'm on the stair stepper and that's why I like it. When I'm running on the treadmill, there's not a lot I can do. Hey, the boys just got back. I'm cooking dinner. So we're doing a quick grocery haul. It is not as organized as it typically is, but the pizza was on sale. So my husband got two of those. Uh, oh, a home chef one. It's Monday. So they're $5. We got some more elk. We really have been loving the Frontier Natural Meats Company. That's right up the road from us here. We have an orange. We have the Sara Lee bread that he likes. We have sea salt and oh one is at my feet hello hello we have sea salt uh chips and peppered beef jerky banana pears avocado there's queso under there we have some onion english cucumber some ziploc baggies we have grape tomatoes hot wing sauce we have twizzlers and that sweet tart thing sweet tart twizzlers basically uh greek yogurt for millie i think she's really gonna enjoy this we have puffs for millie as well as some eggs and that was it uh my husband got me a mop though thank goodness because you remember my one uh you know broke in half so it'll be nice to be able to mop the floor again and then we got some orange juice some apple juice and some double milk scat milk stout from left hand right now i am making some burgers and I'm doing some potato wedges that I fried in uh, some avocado oil. But yes, I'm going to get this together and I'll catch up with you here in a second. Alrighty, hello. That is uh, quite a bit later. I am exhausted. I came downstairs with confidence that I was going to clean this spare room. I'm going to get you turned around so you can see, but it's it's out of control. I, I came down with confidence that I was going to get cleaned up, but I have been really trying to stick with taking time for myself. And that is easier said than done. I'm going to sit down and talk to you for this one, but easier said than done. I don't really make resolutions, but I needed to just start, I guess, uh, taking some time with, uh, for myself because I've just been getting very overwhelmed lately. So this can be a project for a new day and it can be a project for a new get it all done or something like that. Not a weekly reset because I am not decluttering weekly. I should be, but we, we shall see if that gives me some motivation. But I feel like this week was just like preparing for this polar vortex that we're in and I just let everything else slide and then, you know, oh, the heat kind of turned off for a second there but uh in turn that just made everything fall behind so I feel like I was doing double of a lot and I would get to one room clean it up leave for five minutes come back and the kids had you know messed it up and I, I hate to say that I'm not like I'm grateful that they're home but sometimes that can be really overwhelming because you just do all this work and then it gets dirty again so I guess it's just very tedious kind of work so it's just been a little tricky this week getting a handle on that but taking that drive and just getting out as a family really does help so if you can do that even if you can take 10 minutes for a walk I find that it has been a game changer so yes I'm going to end it here and I'm going to just get caught up on some other things I have been slacking on this week so I will see you for a new video very soon I hope you are well wherever you are in the world I hope this gave you motivation to just get some things cleaned up or it gave you some motivation to take some time for you and just get in some self-care so i will catch you on the next one thank you so much for being here see you later the trees they are singing to the tune of a song and the wind is gently ringing bell that brings the morning, the welcome of the dawn. The 
voice of the robin The call of the dove The red leaves are falling The barn owl is calling the well